Travis County District Attorney Rosemary Lemberg is locked up in jail right now. Lemberg today received a 45-day sentence for driving drunk. She was immediately handcuffed, taken to jail this morning after pleading guilty to drunk driving. Lemberg was arrested April 13th on FM 620 near Steiner Ranch after another driver called police. Her blood alcohol level released today was 0.23. That's nearly three times the legal limit. And because her blood alcohol limit was higher than a 0.15, her crime was elevated to a class A misdemeanor. Lemberg will lose her driver's license for 180 days. Her attorney calls her sentence the harshest for a first-time DWI in the history of Travis County. And he's also defending Lemberg's actions once she was arrested and booked. Those actions, once Lemberg was arrested, have been speculation until now. Our lead investigator, Chris Willis, has been asking for booking and jail video from the county attorney's office. And Chris, this video is very damaging. Yeah, Robert, it could not get much worse for the top-ranking law enforcement official in Travis County and arguably the most powerful district attorney in the state of Texas. That said, we do not have all the video yet, but we'll get it. So we'll wait and see how bad it does get. Take a look for now, though. The police report says and the video supports District Attorney Rosemary Lemberg combative, refusing to comply with deputies. She resisted during the pat down and attempted to scratch and grab an officer's hand, placed in a holding cell, sometimes crying, talking to herself and yelling at officers outside the cell. On several occasions, she stands at the cell door yelling, hitting her head against the plexiglass window and kicking at the door. On more than one occasion, those kicks are violent in nature and because of her behavior, she is then strapped into an emergency restraint chair, a spit mask placed over her head. She's also put into leg irons and placed into a safety cell. When her blood is drawn, she's kept in the restraint chair, the mask placed back over her head. Lenberg's attorney, David Shepard, says the mask was put on the district attorney not because she was spitting on jailers, but instead to protect her identity. The mask was put on her, and you will see this. The jailer, will, when she says, why are you putting this mask on me, the jailer will say, to protect your identity. Well, protecting an inmate's identity is not standard procedure when arresting someone in Travis County. The county attorney would not say whether Lemberg's safety was ever at risk, but her attorney did say that the DA did never hit, kick, or spit on any of the jailers. And as we mentioned, too, we don't have all the video. In fact, we just got some within the last half hour, and we'll have more at 6. Thank you, Chris. Uh -huh. All right. Looking more in depth, uh, Texas law does not automatically remove a district attorney from office for a misdemeanor. Her law license is not affected because it's not a felony. County commissioners have said they will not seek her removal because she was elected to office. If she resigns or is removed somehow, the governor would appoint her replacement, which would worry Travis County Democrats. Austin attorney Kerry O'Brien filed a petition to remove Lemberg from office. 